let's take a quick uh, closer look at those nonmetals as they gain electrons to become anions. So the nonmetals I want to focus on are the 5A, 6A, and 7A. And those nonmetals will pick up the number of electrons they need to get a complete octet. So if you're looking at 5A, 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. So actually that's why nitrogen and phosphorus pick up 3 electrons to become a minus 3 anion. Uh, 6A has 6 valence electrons, so 6 plus 2 gives you 8. So that's why oxygen and sulfur, 6A nonmetals, will pick up 2 electrons to become a minus 2 anions. And then the halogens are 7A, so 7 plus 1 is equal to 8. So as they pick up 1 electron, they become a minus 1 charge. Yeah, so again, these are things that you can hang your hat on, and that's actually significant. Um, let's take a look at how the electron configuration looks as these nonmetals pick up electrons. So let's pick on chlorine. Chlorine, a 7A element, and then you should be able to see the 7 valence electrons in its electron configuration. Using the abbreviated rare gas notation, these are the 7 valence electrons. So you can see it's just itching to pick up one electron. And can you see here in a minute when it picks up electron, where is that last electron going to go? It's going to go in the 3P. So if we draw the electron configuration for the chloride ion, the chlorine anion, it looks like this. So again, if you want to compare these two, it's not too hard to see this is where the activity happened. We picked up one electron in the 3P, so that made instead of 3P5, it's 3P6. Okay, so can you see where our we have our rare gas configuration? It's generally called the NS2 NP6. In this case, N is equal to what? 3. Okay, so there's your complete octet. Let's pick on one more. Let's pick on phosphorus. Okay, phosphorus is a group 5A element. Beyond neon, it actually has these five valence electrons. So how many electrons does it need to pick up to get a complete octet? I'm liking three electrons. And then where are those three electrons going to go? I'm liking they are going to go in the 3P. So for the phosphorus ion, we call the phosphide ion actually, it looks like this. Okay, so you can see what happened when you compare these two is in this last uh, subshell, the 3P subshell, it went from 3P3 to 3P6, picked up three electrons, and become, became a minus three charge. Very good. So, one of the things, oh yeah. An important thing going on here with metals giving up electrons and nonmetals taking in electrons is they are their their nucleus is not changing. So they have the same number of protons, okay? I mean they have the protons aren't changing as they lose electrons or gain electrons. But as the electrons actually are lost or gained, they are getting a common configuration, electron configuration. They are called isoelectronic. So um, for instance, if we look at the rare gas in period two, that actually is neon, okay? And neon has 10 electrons, and this is how those 10 electrons are configured. So actually, these guys right here, um, nitrogen picks up three electrons to become like neon, oxygen picks up two electrons to become like neon, fluorine picks up one electron to become like neon. Okay, these guys over here are in the period after neon. Sodium kicks off one electron, become like neon. Magnesium pick, kicks off two electrons to become like neon. And aluminum kicks off three electrons to become like neon. In doing so, these, what are there, seven down here? These seven, these seven species all have the same electron configuration. They are what we call isoelectronic. I thought I'd bring in the periodic table just to kind of show you what a little bit again about how isoelectronic works. 
So what we saw a minute ago is we picked on neon and we said, actually in, in uh, period two there, that we said nitrogen would pick up three electrons to become like neon, oxygen two electrons, and fluorine picks up one electron. Then for the, the metals, excuse me, what happened was sodium kicked off one electron to become like neon. Magnesium kicked off two electrons to become like neon, okay, in the period before it. And aluminum kicked off three electrons to become like neon. So I'm a visual person, so I, I hope that helps.